there's a time to keep and a time to cast away. I believe that's from the Bible and it couldn't hold more true for clutter. Yet homes are overrun with it. Decluttering and keeping a clutter-free home requires some commitment and most definitely self-discipline. And you too can achieve that Pinterest-worthy home. Today I'm gonna share with you eight simple habits that have a huge impact on keeping a clutter-free space. I'm Margo and I'm always looking for simple and new ways to keep clutter out of my home. If you're a working mama and you want to successfully survive work life and mommyhood, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Number one, stop buying things you don't need. Ah, the dreaded spending habits. Clutter is merely things we have or bring into our homes that don't really serve a purpose. You are in control of what you purchased and allowed to enter your home. Put restrictions on your spending habits and less clutter will manifest itself. A great way to do this is to always only pay in cash instead of using credit cards. You can also refrain from purchasing anything that is not on your shopping list. Yes, this would require you to actually create a shopping list when you're going out and stay away from online shopping. Number two, declutter daily. You probably all know I love my 60 second a day purge. Who doesn't have 60 seconds in a day to dedicate to the decluttering process? Grab a bin, a box, or a bag and walk around your space daily, swiping things off surfaces and shelves. If you can spare it, I encourage you to declutter 15 to 30 minutes throughout the week as well. You can typically pair this with another activity, such as while you're cooking, declutter the fridge or the freezer. Number three, organize. All of your things must have a home to go to. Throwing mail on a dining room table is not the right home. Sorry, ladies. Having a little mail rack hanging on a wall or a bin to collect mail is a much better, less cluttersome look for it. I will leave links to my favorite home organizational products in the description box below. Same applies to every item in your home. Walk around your space. If you see a specific area building clutter, it might mean some organization is needed. As a pro tip, an item's home should be where you use it. So for example, cleaning supplies that you use to clean the bathroom should be stored in the bathroom, not in your kitchen. If you're looking to transform your home into the sanctuary of your dreams, declutter, organize, and keep the clutter out for good, you can join my eight week live Clutter Management Academy program. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Number four, the one in and one out rule. This one I always battle with my mom about. A simple decluttering habit to form is when you purchase a new item, get rid of one of the older items. So for example, if you've just bought a brand new sweater, go in your closet and get rid of an older sweater that you had. If you bought a new coffee mug, toss an old one and so on. Just by living off this habit alone, you will prevent clutter buildup. Number five, tidy up at the end of the day. This is such a lovely daily practice that also keeps your home clean. I actually will never leave a room without tidying up. Before you go to bed or are winding down for the night, do a quick walk around your home and just put things away in their designated spaces. The you tomorrow morning will thank you. No one wants to wake up to a cluttered kitchen with dishes piled up to the ceiling. If you're getting value from this video, contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button. And let me know what space in your home has the most amount of clutter. Number six, put stuff where it belongs. After you use an item, don't just leave it. Put it where it belongs. That is why it's so important to keep items in the room where you use it because you are less likely to walk to a different room to put something away. This is so common and creates the dreaded surface clutter. It's like we're drawn to clean surfaces and we want to mess them up. It's also why your home appears more cluttered than it actually is. Resist the urge to drop things where they don't belong. Number seven, go paperless. Paper clutter is a huge problem in our homes and tends to build up quickly. Bills, magazines, mail, menus, kids' artwork. Okay, that one might be hard to get rid of. Whenever you can, enroll in paperless options. If you are someone who has a lot of receipts, you can always download an app and scan them in. Come on, it's the era of technology. There's just absolutely no reason to keep things like paper menus. Number eight, donate regularly. One of the main reasons for clutter is our inability to part with items. 
organs. Donating them instead of throwing them out might help to alleviate some of the issues letting go. I donate a minimum of four times a year, mostly clothing and shoes. There are so many organizations that will actually pick up your stuff. You don't even have to go out of your way to drop it off and your things can benefit someone in need. Keep in mind that all items that you donate should be in good condition. If it's raggedy, it's just going to go into the garbage. So don't donate it, instead put it in the throwaway pile. Going from clutter to clutter free doesn't have to be difficult, but it does require you to build new, simple daily habits. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Good luck on your decluttering journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to be good to yourselves.